What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Ark Survival Evolved on the Extinction map. Now that's right you guys, and no snap. Is it gonna be an awesome freaking day? So guys, welcome back, and for once, happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. So guys, thank you guys so much for coming on back to the episode, or coming to the episode, I should say. You didn't come back because you haven't been here before, but we got Chloe with <laughs> us here on my right side. Honey, you want to say, say hello to everybody? Hello from the left side, everyone. <laughs> hello from the left and the right side. So today... Yeah. Today we are going to uh, kind of slow it down a little more from that uh, that that hectic episode that we had last time because the last episode we did the tappy taming and we got the two tappies, uh, the level 179s. Now the two level 179s are inside of the cryo fridge. We have them in cryopods so they're good to go. But off camera, there's been a few things that's happened uh, with one of our friends, Big Block. Now Big Block on the server, he's been a long time friend, especially on the server. Uh, has given us quite a few gifts, and that's actually been in the shape of these. So we now have level 225 male and a level 225 female of Tapajaras. Now the best part about that is the fact that we can now make a uh, Tappy army. But last night when we were on uh, when we were on the server, Big Block gave Chloe a level 259, which means we can breed that with the ones that are 225, and we can start getting yeah. even better Tappies. Now, not only Ooh. that, but we made a little bit of a technological advancement right here with two Tappy saddles that are the Tech Tappy saddles. Now, that cost a shit ton of stuff, and our element boxes, uh, are, they're running quite low. We only have 280 element, and uh, it, we are running quite low on element, so we're going to need to do that off camera or on camera if we find an element vein to do. But he also graced us with a level, I think it was an 89 Quetzal, and a couple of other eggs, uh, but this is indeed yes. a ascendant, uh, it's an ascendant Quetz platform saddle uh, crafted by Big Block. Uh, it's not a tech Quetz, it's just the the, the skin that I have uh, that I bought, but this will definitely help us uh, with all of that stuff. But, babe, you want to go ahead and tell everybody what we have planned for today? So, today, the plan is actually to tame some snails. Indeed. I don't know the correct nail uh, name for the snails. Mm -hmm. Nail. The snail nail. Name. Na yeah. So what we're gonna do is off camera we got some honey. That was a struggle. Oh no, god, and yes. We couldn't tame a uh, queen bee because mm -hmm. we never found one. And but we made a lot of sweet veggie cakes a and lot the, the sweet veggie cakes are what the snails only eat now the ingredients for a sweet veggie cake is medjo berries uh let's see medjo berries savaroot uh rock carrot and what's the other one this one long grass as well as fiber uh sap and giant bee honey now the giant bee honey yes. we had to go down into the the sunken forest with um poo our bear and we had to go down and get honey. But the problem was, uh, we originally had a Quetzal that Chloe found out in the city. <laughs> it was level 25. We knocked it out, tamed it off camera. In fact, I'll go ahead and include uh, some footage right here from the uh, the taming. We tamed it off camera, so there's no uh, there's no audio commentary. But you can definitely see it's in kind of a peculiar position. Uh, and it just kind of landed in midair. <laughs> so that was our Quetzal. But then Chloe's giggling because she fucking murdered the damn thing with that murder stick that's in her hand. So we yeah. were we found the we found the beehives and everything like that and we stood up on top of it but then we figured a way to get up there would be the Quetzal. So what I did is <laughs> oh Jesus <laughs> is I jumped on the Quetzal and flew up there and she dropped down onto the Quetzal but then she started smacking at the beehive little did she know she was beating the shit out of me and the Quetzal with that sword <laughs> and uh, needless to say this tech armor was broken. <laughs> And the Quetzal died. It <laughs> fell to the ground, and uh, we, we were still without honey. Uh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> that, so she, that, that happened. Yeah, so she was the master mastermind behind the death of our first Quetzal. May it rest in peace. Uh, but now Big Block was gracious enough to, to give us one of these. It's not the best Quetzal, but hey, it's a gift, and we will take it. And we're very gracious for that. But yes. we do need to grab ourselves some sweet veggie cakes. Like I said, I made up... Uh, like 136 last night with all of the freaking uh, honey that we got. I'm going to take 15, <laughs> honey. You go ahead and take 15 as well. And we're going to put these on our last slot on our bars, just like that. Now, these last for 
an hour in your inventory. They'll probably last for longer inside of the snail's inventory, but when it comes to a snail farm, you're probably going to want to have four or five snails, and you're also going to want to pump food and weight, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the best way to do that. Food and weight is probably the best way to run your farm, because the snails only eat sweet veggie cakes, and that gets a little bit expensive after a while. But we don't even need to take any flyers, because we have our tech suits, and we don't even need to cut, because it's not like it's going to take us more than a second and a half to get to the city, because all we're going to do is take the tech pancake and, and teleport ourselves on, <laughs> over to, <laughs> on over to Big Block's base. So we have our cryopods, we have our sweet veggie cakes, we've got everything we need to go out and tame us some snails. Now these are what the beehives look like. Those of you that have seen my, my Ragnarok series or my Primitive Plus series would know that that's what those look like. We have yet to find a queen bee, uh, but Big Block was, was lucky enough to get one. I'm thinking we might be able to clone them, I'm not sure. If we can do that, we'll have to get a tech cloning chamber, uh, but with all the materials we yeah. have, it won't be too bad. But this is actually what our tappies are going to look like. Uh, with the tech saddles mm. on them. You can see what they look like and how cool they look. Now, this is not mine, but it is a it's a public seat that you can be in. Uh, this is Big Block's tappy, uh, but it's pretty cool. It's a really cool looking tappy, not to mention the colors of the actual tappy look really neat. But, baby, uh, after you, yeah. you want to go ahead and jump off the cliff? I'll follow okay. you. All right. So we're going to go ahead and rummage around the city a little bit, see if we can't find ourselves some snails. They don't necessarily need to be the highest of levels, but uh, we'll bring you guys back in when we find one. Okay, so Chloe found a snail. Perfect. She found a snail right here. We've been running around the city for like 10 minutes now, not finding one snail. Yes. But we've certainly found the whole entire population of dung beetles. But Jesus, criminy, we don't need dung beetles. <laughs> so all you gotta do, honey, is sneak up behind it and then put a sweet veggie cake in its butt. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait a second. These are not passive tames. I think you actually have to knock these things out. Wait a second, what? did I just completely forget how to tame snails? Okay, to the wiki! <laughs> we need to figure out how to tame these damn things. Because I, I don't think... Uh, I don't think it's a knockout tame. Maybe it is a knockout I, tame. I saw something like... Press Y? No, it was this. When it was its was paste. In, oh. It's Akatina paste. That's exactly what it is. Okay, so let's see. On the wiki right now, Akatina... Sweet veggie cake. Yeah, you gotta knock its ass out. Okay, it's a good thing that it's a low level, but the problem is, uh, this uh... might kill it. Oh, jeez! Okay, yeah, it, it... Okay, of course, it, it went up into a ball. Kind of like the, the dough dick. But it looks like we do indeed yeah. need to knock it out. I completely forgot that it wasn't a passive tame. Okay, good. It's, it's, it's back out now, but okay. I think only one shot. Do you happen to have a primitive rifle with you? Is that a primitive uh, with trank darts? Okay, shoot it once in the in in the butt. Don't go for the head. Primitive, I think actually this is ascendant. Okay. But I don't have any. Yeah, it's ascendant. All right. Well, luckily that this. that one shot with the ascendant one, I didn't know if it would kill it or not. It was very close to killing it. But all we gotta do is put a sweet veggie cake in its inventory. In fact, let's see. I don't think it should take more than one for level 15. I mean, come on. We've also got boosted boosted rates on this server. Uh, but let's keep yes. it protected. Got a scout flying around. There's a couple enforcers. Uh, we had a little bit of a run-in with a couple of those angry roided-out teddy bears, but... Oh my god, yes, angry teddy bears. <laughs> Bug eating. They Bug ate eating. bugs and they got enraged. Yeah, and they are intense when they are enraged. But okay, yes. um, let's see. Come on, big guy, eat, so, eat the I'm paste. So, I'm gonna put my burger where on the last slot so I don't accidentally eat all of our... <laughs> don't eat all of our sweet veggie cakes, baby. Sweet veggie... Veggie. Veggie? <laughs> veggie. Hey, nice veggie, veggie cake, cake, man. Alright, so this thing should be eating soon. Actually, it should have already eaten, yeah. I think. Come on, big man. Do we have to force feed this to you or something? Come on, little snail. Come on, Gary. That's probably what all the name yeah. suggestions for this thing is going to be. Gary from Spongebob. Yeah. Gary, Gary, Gary. Gary. And Gary. Gary, 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 and Gary. Perfect. Great name suggestions, guys. Appreciate you. Then again, I'm, I'm prematurely <laughs> saying that, so <laughs> who knows? Maybe people will be creative. Yes. We're not picking Gary. Yeah. His name is not Gary. <laughs> His right. name is not 
Gary. Let's Come see on. him. I'm gonna feed him some narco berries just to keep him out a little bit. Oh, listen to his little eating sounds. He sounds so cute. Look at his little head. Oh god, they're yeah, so gross what, looking. What is he eating? Well, he was eating. eating. I, I was force feeding him narco berries. Ah. Mm -hmm. Now this thing has zero health practically. It's got seven. It's got ninety health. Okay, I know you eat these sweet veggie cakes, there, big man. Does the? Okay, so. Okay, wait. I must be missing something with this. Hang on. Let's see. <laughs> I'm checking the. Uh... Oh, oh, teddy bear. Where? Is it? A... Oh, there we go. I wasn't. Oh. Okay, perfect. And it's attacking my target for some reason. Oh, but wait. <gasps> Have you always been able to pick these suckers up? Look at this thing. It's like the size oh of me. God, that, is, that is so cute. <laughs> it's adorable. But, oh, there's an angry but, teddy bear. Okay. Yeah, it's an angry teddy bear. Let's. Right. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that off of him. We're going to go ahead and put this bad boy in cryo. And uh, then we're going to try and find some more. Now, see, this is the best mm -hmm. part about the snails is they're tiny. You know, they're just going to be able to chill in Chloe's uh, little enclosure. And then, yes. you know, then we'll be good to go. I brought my Velanosaur with me for some reason, just in case. So if we run into anything bad, we do have some protection other than just our guns and stuff. But luckily, Chloe found that one. Uh, we're going to search around yes. the swamp because I think that's where we're going to find a majority of them. Uh, and then hopefully we can find some more. Now this, this right here is what I want to go after eventually, is the Paraceratherium. Because I got a, I got a, what is it, an Ascendant Platform Saddle? Uh, yeah, I got an Ascendant Platform Saddle from one of the drops inside of the cave, the desert cave. Uh, and if we find a, if we find two 150s and we breathe them together, we are going to be sitting pretty with, um, with kind of mobile base, uh, mobile base stuff. All right, now, babe, I'm in the swamp. There's another snail right here, but it's around a whole bunch of dillos. Yeah, I I see you down there. <clears throat> okay. Do you need gonna... a sword? Mm, you can come and kill them with a sword if you would like. Absolutely. I would love that. Okay, perfect. Now this is not the most ideal place to try and tame something. Um, it being there's snakes and shit everywhere. But let's see, what level is this one? This one's level 60. It's in the water. Look at him. It's a pretty color, too. It's oh, blue. Oh, I love it. And it looks like it's lavender. It does kind of, doesn't it? All right, now it's unconscious. Perfect. The perks of having an ascendant long neck rifle. Now is it underwater? It, it can breathe underwater. Perfect. Okay, <laughs> that's perfectly fine. All right, so we're going to put two in there this time. And we'll keep this one safe. We'll continue oh, to grab some snails. The baby. It's a Demetrodon. He's okay. He's friendly unless provoked. These things are actually natural air conditioners. Did you know that? It's a primitive way of using air conditioners. Their sails help radiate or help insulate them. And it helps insulate uh, eggs as well. It's kind of a neat feature. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm standing here close. Uh, not too close so I don't kill it. Okay. Like I have a tendency to. <laughs> but if there's some um, saber-toothed salmons... Well, the saber tooth salmon are, are they're friendly, uh, unless provoked. Uh, you also have... I don't see any saber tooth salmon. Where are the saber tooth salmon at? Are you I talking don't about know. The, I see a lot Oh, these are coelacanths. fishes. Those are coelacanths. These are the regular fish. And that's a level 15 mm. otter. There's an otter right there, too, sweetie. He's just there swimming is. around. Yeah, it's a male otter. Aww. That means I need to produce fish. Well, if you and if that's you that's for an other episode. Well, you can actually fish tame that one right it. now. You can kill a fish and then drag its body to the otter, and then it tames it. I don't know how long it'll take. Hopefully, it doesn't take too many fish. But if you kill the fish, don't harvest its body, drag its body to the otter, and then like uh, feed it like a passive tame. Yeah, that's perfect. Then just drag its body. So just it's go up to difficult it and, to swim. Yeah, go up to it and click Y. <laughs> it's tough. Oh Here, I'll get it. <laughs> I'll get it, baby. What? Not to worry. What there you go. Happened? And there you go. There's an otter. <laughs> so here, I'll give you the otter. I'll give you the otter. Hang on. Hang on. All right, there you go. So now, let me go ahead and turn him on passive before he... Oh, wait. Oh, God. Because <laughs> you don't want him to get uh, killed by anything. And there's the Akatina. Perfect. Got ourselves the snail and the otter. So that's two snails down. Yeah. 
It only took one bite, which is good. We're just instant taming these things, which is really good. Yeah. Perfect. Attacking target? No, it was so... Oh. Clear taming groups. Oh, yeah. There you go. Now he's on passive. Now, truthfully, I'm probably going to mm -hmm. be taking that otter. Uh, not from you, obviously, but anytime I go no. on... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Never steal a woman's otter. Um, anytime I go on artifact runs, because you can put multiple artifacts on the otter. It's like the only organism in Ark that you can actually use that that ability for. But okay, there's got to be yeah. some more snails around here. You want to help me look still? Yeah, I am trying to figure out... I can only have sonar with night vision on. Mm, no, you can, you can change that. You just yeah, double, double click know, Y again. But... Yeah, he'll just get chucked off. And then just okay. run up to him and click Y. There you go. Perfect. Okay, good. Alright, there's a froggy. Uh... Let's see. Alright, so we're going to see if we can't find any more snails, guys. Let's see. Is this one right here? It is. There's one over by me, honey. What am I being attacked by? Piranhas. Alright, where did you run oh, off to? Oh, hello. Right there. What just bit me? What the f... What? Oh, it's a... Oh, it's a bug. <laughs> it's a bug. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, what the hell? Did I just get bitten by a leech or something? Alright, this oh, one's level 50? level 50. Very nice. How did that one just not get knocked out? Jesus, get out of here, you damn bugs! Why are you attacking me? You're friendly. I am not starting throwing this around because I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> it's not yes, that? You are. Yeah, for some reason it took two darts this time. Strange, it's got a lot more health than but... the other ones. Yeah. That's, that's good. good. That is good. Alright, so that's go gonna go ahead, baby. Sorry I keep cutting you off. No, I'm like I'm I'm going to get some fish for my otter. Okay, yeah. Oh shit, yeah, that's right. That is something that we need. Alright, so that's three snails down. I would love it if we could find like two or three more. Oops. Ask and ye shall receive. There's two more oh wait, no, there's a snail right here. And then I thought I saw another one somewhere else. What color is that snake? This one's another kind of like, it's like a bluish purple. It's actually really Ooh. pretty. It's got some white accents in it too. So this one's knocked out as well. Wow. Perfect. Oh, I'm gonna have so many snails in my pet pen. Yeah, you are. There's gonna be a shit ton of them just roaming around in there. Sweet. Okay, so this will be number four. Oh, it's behind you, baby. Behind you. What? Snake, what? snake, what is... snake. Oh god, there's two snakes. I got the otter. I think it killed our snail. Uh. Oh no, it's right. Oh wait, no, yeah, the snail's dead. No! Let's see. Uh. Yeah, no, the snail's dead. <laughs> I don't know if the snake got it or if something else got it, but that's okay. We'll find more. We'll find more, not to worry, Bibi. Uh, I wanted to feed my, my otter. <laughs> That's okay. Looks like there's an explorer note right here. I've not gotten this one yet. That looks like a spaceship. It's pretty sweet. Ooh. I'm gonna have to go through those one of these days and just read all of those. But yeah, I think but... what, baby? Baby, where's my otter? It's on my shoulder, babe. Okay. okay. He, I didn't want him to get killed by the uh, the snakes. The snake. The snake. Oh, he's so pretty. Yeah, and he's going to eat a bunch of fish meat, too. So we're going to need to put some fish meat in his inventory pretty much every single day. Uh, so the yeah, best thing to I pump... Yeah, I have some now. The best thing to pump for those things would probably be food and weight. That way he can carry a yep. whole bunch of stuff. And he won't die yep. as quickly. Yeah, But okay, let's that see. If, perfect. Let's see if we can't find one more. And if not, we'll just go ahead and end off today's episode right there. Because we already yes. kind of surpassed our goal. I wanted to find at least two. And we have three, which is very good. But let's see, that looks like there might be one more up here. I don't I, know where you are. I'm back up at the swamp, babe. Okay. I'm right on the edge of it, actually. Right on the edge of the ravine. Okay, that's actually a Lystro. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm up right towards the edge. I'm by the spiked walls uh, in the swamp. I don't know if you've seen those yet. No. Okay, I'm just inside of the swamp. Oh, there, yeah. Oh, now it. Yeah. Now I know where the spiked walls are. Let's see, dimorphodons. 
Doesn't look like there's any more in here. We would have seen the ones over here. Jesus, those Dimorphodons are going crazy. Yeah. Let's uh. see. Um, yeah, no, it doesn't look like there's any more. But uh, if we look up here... Where are you at? Up on the second uh, level of the swamp? Yes. Yeah, you check the upper so level. So behind, behind the spike walls. If you check the upper level, I'll check down here once more. That is a big-ass saber-toothed salmon. Hot damn. Uh -huh. Let's see. Any more snails? Snails. Oh, I'm so sad that this snake... <laughs> that the snake killed it, I know. Mm, that's okay, that we'll find... That was very oh, mean. I got one over here by me, but there's another snake by it. It's okay, I'll kill the okay. snake first. Alright, I am right at the mouth of the uh, swamp, right where it first begins. I'm right next to a parasaur. Okay. Right Is at the it... beginning. Right, uh, go back towards where your old house was at, babe. Because that's right where I'm at. I'm right in that direction, yeah. So now I'm over here. Can you see me over towards the back side of the wall? I'm right over here, babe. Right behind you. Now I'm above you. I'm right here. Hi, ah, Pepe. Hi. Alright, it's right over here. Okay. Okay, okay. All we gotta do so is. So difficult this to one. find your tiny character. <laughs> and for some reason it's unconscious. I'm not sure as to why. But we'll go ahead and just feed it. Oh, oh I bet you I know why. It was probably bitten by a snake. That's probably why its health oh. was, was down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna let. I'm just gonna go ahead and take these these Mega Nuera out because uh, I'm fearing for my life that I'm gonna get killed by you <laughs> again. Yeah. All right, so this will be number four, hopefully. We said that in the last one, and that one died. That one died. Mm -hmm. Like really died. But see, the best part about having the snails is you can actually, once you're done with them, you can put them in cryo, and you know. We won't, we, won't, we won't ever have to worry about feeding them. So if we ever run out yeah. of sweet veggie cakes to just feed them, we can just put yeah, them in cryo. Yeah, then we just put them in cryo. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of nice, honestly. But okie dokie. So we're going to go and get this one, guys. But I think with that, we're going to go and end off today's kind of slow episode right here. Yes. Uh, with the taming of four. Fitting. Fitting with the snail taming. A slow... <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Mm -hmm. I like it. You <laughs> damn jokes. But anyways, guys, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Let us know if you liked it down there in the comment section. And baby, you want to say goodbye to everybody down there in the chat? I want to say goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.